Hey, what's up, guys? I finally have received my copy of The Thing from Shout Factory or Scream Factory. Um, as I've said multiple times, uh, Scream Factory and Shout Factory, I guess as, as, as a whole, have been having distribution issues for the last, Jesus, three months, I think, since August? August, September, October? I think it's been about three months. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um... This has been a real headache. They've been up. They've been. They've been missing release dates left and right. The, the release window um, for like the two weeks early is completely not doable at this point. And they most of the time, actually, so far this might be the first time I've gotten something on time. Today is uh, November fifth, so the day before this actually releases. So this is the first one of my releases that I've purchased from them since the summer or so. I can't really remember. But this is the first time in months I've gotten something on time, let alone, you know, early. So I'm actually happy about that. So I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to start complaining about it even more, even though I just, I guess, did a little bit. But I do have it on time. I have my poster here, um, which I should, maybe I'll look at that. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll have a look at that last because they're just, I'm assuming it's fucked. I don't know. I just assume it is. Whatever. But of course, it's the thing. Um, I, I own many copies of this. And maybe I'll do a video of that later. How many do I have? Six, seven or eight, eight, nine, ten copies of this movie. In varying degrees. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, here's the the what do you call it, the information and shit. Let me just pull that up here. You can look at that and read it. Excuse me. Horror movies don't get this don't get much better than this. Scott Weinberg of youfilmcritic.com. This is the exact same release, I believe. Um, wait a second. Oh, actually. That's right, I forgot. It's a three-disc set. The um, previous release of this film was a two-disc set. It was these two discs, and it was the new 2K scan, and then all the extras that it's got, which is a lot of extras. You should pause that and look at them. There's a bunch. It's awesome. But they haven't, for this release specifically, that's not in the um, previous release, is this, it says disc one here, 2017 4K scan of your film, which... As far as I've read, it sounds like it's the exact same scan as Arrow used last year, which is why it's a 2017 scan. So it's not a new scan, but it's a 4K scan and newish, I guess. It's definitely new to Shout Factory. Um, if you already have that release, the Arrow re uh, release, I, I suppose you wouldn't necessarily need especially if you already own the other Shout Factory one, there would be no reason to buy this at all because you already have everything. Um, I'm buying it because I love this movie and I like to buy things like that and I like to spend money and waste it, so... That's why I did it. But I, rec I, I guess I'd, I'd recommend getting this if you didn't already own either of those, unless, especially if you like steelbooks. It's a very glossy look. And now I'm not a, I am not wasn't a huge fan of this artwork when I first saw it, but I, I, it's, it's grown on me. It's the picture of the Blair monster at the end uh, with um, McCready in the final fight or so. So let me take this out here. Let's open it up. I don't think there's any... Yeah. There's disc one. Somebody in this camp ain't what he appears to be. That's awesome. I love it. I love this film. Um, okay, that was the first disc, and that's the new disc. Feature film 2017 4K scan. So it's not a 4K disc, like a 4K HD, or what do you call it? 4K Blu-ray, HDR, all that. It's not that. It's a, it's a 4K scan of the uh, camera negative. And here's the 2K scan, which I thought was fine. I'm not a huge aficionado on that shit. And then this is the bonus features. And these are different discs. This is different disc art than was previously released, too. It's got the new uh, lettering and stuff. So, And the background art is nothing. It's just a quote. Which is lame, but that's they've been doing that forever. So, and There's the disc. So that's cool. And there's the full image there. I'll show you the poster in a second. It's the same image. I don't see any dents or anything or scratches as far as I can tell. Do you guys see any? I don't think so. No spine slash. That's cool. Now let's take a look at this. Where's my opening here? I don't think I've gotten a poster this year that hasn't been garbage. Okay. It looks 
Well, it looks bent like usual, but I don't see it. It doesn't look as crumpled as usual. Let me take a look. Wait, no, that's right. It's crumpled like that, like usual, like I said, which is irritating, honestly. Like, Whatever. I don't know. Um, the edges look okay. I mean, I guess technically this might be one of the better ones I've gotten. So yeah, um, I'm a fan of the artwork. I like the image. I'm glad that it's not ripped, um, but um, still, it's it's folded like usual. But whatever. And there's the three discs. Anyway, I blabbed out long enough. Um, yeah, I'm I'm, just, I'm I'm not gonna complain anymore about the shit. So whatever, I'm not gonna do that. I'm happy with this. I'm glad I got it on time, and I'm glad it doesn't have any dents or there's no rips or anything. So I'm just gonna go with and say, I'm thankful that I got this in one piece. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you later for more unboxing feature and all that. So, Black Friday is just around the corner. I'm not planning on buying too much shit this year. Um, in fact, I don't think I've bought much last year either. But, uh, of course, I'll be buying stuff. So, stick around. It's going to be a fun month. So, uh, talk to you later, guys, and bye.